Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ryan the Lion Video Games with me Ryan the Lion and today we are counting down from 10 to 1 my top PS4 games of 2015. Now these are consisting only on the PlayStation 4, truly to the fact because I don't have an Xbox One and or a PC. So this is the top 10 games of 2015 and I hope you can enjoy them. That's right ladies and gentlemen, number 7 on my top 10 countdown is of course Soma. Now Soma is a horror game and it comes from Frictional Games. Now if you've never heard of Frictional Games and you haven't played Amnesia, Amnesia is probably one of the best horror games on, play, uh, on PC, uh, excuse me, and I think personally they have done a great job with Soma. The reason it wasn't really really high in my countdown. It could have been a lot higher, I believe, but personally I think that some of the storyline to begin with certainly was a little bit boring. I felt like I wasn't sucked right in. I had to play for a good hour or two to really, really start to enjoy the game. I felt like I enjoyed the game more later on in the story, more later on in the game you know, maybe about three or four hours in, that's when I felt as though the game really, really excelled. And it did excel. The The ending is absolutely amazing. I loved the ending because it's a game that makes you think. And I love a game that makes you think and gets the mind going. It really, really, really juices up your thoughts and feelings and your questions about life itself. You play as Simon, who you think is a regular human being, and again, I'm going to warn people, spoiler alert, I don't want, you know, to reveal anything big if you haven't played the game, so if you haven't played the game, put it, this video off right now and go play it. But, you play as Simon, who is just a regular guy, he owns a comic book store with his friend, and they just he just goes about his normal life. Nothing great, nothing brilliant about it, just a regular average guy, but he was involved in a car accident 10 years ago and he has a lot of brain issues, he has a lot of interference, he gets a lot of headaches, etc. And, you know, goes to see a doctor about it, well, what he thinks as a doctor, who's a bit more experimental and wants to try an experimental kind of surgery um, on his brain. But... Then he realises that things go horribly wrong, horribly fast, and he comes to realise that he isn't just any normal human being. He is, in fact, an AI, a kind of data that gets put into another person's body. Now, and he realises that his original Simon, his original human body, has been dead for almost, possibly, a hundred years. And a comet has you know, hit the earth and the earth went to explode basically. So they go underwater and they're trying to find a solution, this company, this place, these scientists are trying to find a solution on where to go, how to do it and how they can save humanity. So they put everyone's memories, thoughts and feelings into AI data files like a kind of memory card and they send them away off to a thing called the ARC. And the ARC is a program where it's been, <coughs> excuse me, an ARC is a program where it's been saved. So it's a program where it looks like regular life. There's trees, there's an environment, there's nature all, all around you, buildings, etc. So it just looks like Earth, but it's not. And you are not a human being anymore. You are an AI, a, a computer, a robot kind of thing. And this is where it really, really is very interesting because it, it asks about you, about the possibilities of this. And the gameplay, well, the, sorry, the story is so, so more involved. There's a lot, lot more to the story. And I would suggest this to anyone, anyone that's big on stories and likes to you know, kind of get the mind working and ask questions about the game, ask questions about themselves and their personal life, then please, please, I implore everybody to play this game. Not only that, it's a horror game, so the horror is fantastic. There's great atmosphere about it, it's very dark, it's very, very creepy a lot of the time, and just like Amnesia, the gameplay is just like Amnesia. It's all about hide and seek, you don't fight back, that kind of thing, and there's one or two puzzles involved in there as well. So, the gameplay is really interesting, 
the graphics are really good. I mean, they're they're not amazingly or groundbreakingly good, but they are still really good. And the it was more of the environments than anything else. You know, being underwater, the the ocean floor, the coral reef, the even down to the the monsters themselves that come after you in this one. It's is very very well detailed, but. I would mainly play this if you're big on story, big on gameplay, then play this game. Or if you're big on horror, because as I say, the atmosphere is just second to none. So I would suggest this for anybody to play. As I say, the only reason it wasn't higher on my countdown was because it has a very slow start. So if you're going to play this game, stick with it, because it does take a good 2-3 hours to get going. It does take a little while to really get your teeth into the story. But... That is why it's number seven on my countdown and not number, you know, two or three. Because it easily, easily could have been two or three. It could have been well, well up there. Because as I say, I loved this game. It was so interesting and it was a great, great game. Just a little bit slow to begin with. But I would suggest anyone to play it. As I say, it asks a lot of questions about life. It asks a lot of questions about yourself and what could be possible in the future. But... That is going to do it for all. Great graphics, great gameplay, really, really interesting story eventually when you get into it. And yeah, just all round good horror game. So thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video and you agree with me, then please hit that all important like button. It really does help. And for all the gaming updates on Soma and all the gaming updates on Ryan the Lion video games, then please subscribe today. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you at number 7.